Airbus's Beluga aircraft have been quite literally doing the heavy lifting for the European plane maker for years. But the company's new dedicated subsidiary, Airbus Beluga Transport, now offers extensive services to several external customers looking to transport outsized cargo. The company has now applied for permission to operate in the United States as well, which should add some good variety for plane spotters. Let's look at this exciting news for today's video. The Airbus Beluga Transport, or AIBT, has sent an application to the US Department of Transport for, quote, an exemption and a foreign air carrier permit authorizing AIBT to engage in charter foreign air transportation of property and mail to the full extent permitted by the air transport agreement between the United States and the European Union and its member states. The company has requested to be allowed the transportation of property and mail between any point or points in the US and any point or points in any member of the European Common Aviation Area, among other requests. With the US being a significant market for cargo operations, this seems to be a natural progression for AIBT, which has already been transporting cargo for paying customers in other regions of the world. Having the US as part of its list of destinations will be an important step in its growth. Airbus Beluga Transport launched service in December 2021. The Beluga aircraft, based on the Airbus A300 platform, have often transported outsized cargo unrelated to its regular Airbus aircraft sections. The new service was created solely to transport cargo for commercially contracted customers. By the end of its first year of operations in February this year, AIBT was operating with two Beluga A300-600STs, and the larger vision includes having all five of these aircraft as part of the company by 2025. AIBT received its Air Carrier Operating Certificate from the Direction Générale de l'Aviation Civile quite recently and has now applied to operate in the US as well. AIBT targets several sectors such as engine manufacturers, space industries, helicopter manufacturers, oil and gas and energy providers, machinery manufacturers, land vehicles and various military equipment and humanitarian supply distributors. In 2022, Felipe Sabo, head of ATI Air Oversized Transport at Airbus, commented, the Beluga's wider cross-section will open up new markets and new logistical possibilities, which would not be feasible with other current airborne transport means. For example, customers could consider in their future manufacturing process to make larger parts to be transported whole without prior disassembly. So what do you think of the prospect of seeing Beluga aircraft at more airports around the world? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment down below. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.